the word imagination comes from the word imaging. Someone say imaging. Imaging. I can feel you. Imaging. Imaging or image. So what is imagination? It's my mental picture. My mental image of what I want to see tomorrow. So if I sit down and I visualize tomorrow, I want my life to be wonderful tomorrow. In the next five years, where do I see myself? If you don't picture the next five years of your life, someone else's imagination can conquer you. So the Bible says now, the weapons God has given to you, they are not physical, but they are very spiritual. They are very supernatural. They have the ability to break down and stop demonic activities against a person. And one of the areas that it works is to cast down imaginations. Now, this imagination is in two, two folds. The imaginations are from your own self about your own life or the imagination of people about you. So as you are busy with your life, moving up and down with your life, what is another person's imaginations about you? Has somebody sat down to imagine the day they will come to your funeral? Now the dangerous thing about imagination is that when somebody is having imaginations, you don't know. They can be smiling with you, but they have an imagination. They can be hugging you, but they have an imagination. So the weapons God has given to us is to cast down every imagination. Because God knows imaginations are powerful. And today I came to ask you one question. Jesus. What is your imagination about your own self? And number two, what is someone else's imagination connected to your life? You wake up in the morning, you say to yourself, it's a long time since you saw a white BMW. When you go and stand on the road, what happens? What happens? You see it. What happens? You see it. If you are able to imagine a white BMW and you saw it, why don't you imagine a better life for you and you will see it? That's right. 